Insurance experts are calling it a step in the right direction in helping Floridians who have been rocked by the property insurance crisis. Moves are now being made for five insurance companies to take over nearly 200,000 policies from citizens' property insurance. It's an effort to depopulate what's regarded as Florida's insurer of last resort. Tarek Miner's here with what property owners need to know. Tarek. Well, here's what we can tell you. Florida's insurance commissioner recently signed orders approving proposals from those five companies to assume thousands of citizens' policies as early as October. The good news is that it's an indication that the private insurance companies want more business here in Florida. But there could be some bad news, though, for some citizens' policyholders who will be asked to switch. Citizens Property Insurance, Florida state-backed insurance company, has been growing at a historic pace over the past two years, now holding 1.35 million policies. The company is adding on average 7,500 policies every week, and for the first time in years, now has the potential to downsize. The Office of Insurance Regulation has approved 184,000 policies for takeout to the private market. Insurance Information Institute spokesman Mark Friedlander says this means private insurers have been given the green light to take thousands of citizens' policies. Florida's insurance commissioner approving that these five companies pull as many as 184,000 policies. There is a downside, however, to this transition. If your citizen's home policy is one of the thousands picked to switch. You only need to accept it if it is within 20% of what you're paying for your citizens coverage. So say, for example, you're paying now $3,000 for your citizens policy premium. You get a takeout offer from a private company for $3,500. You must accept that offer, even though it's higher than what you're paying for citizens. While Freelander says some citizens customers might see yet another rate increase with their new insurance provider, it's notable that citizens policies are typically cheaper than policies offered by private companies. The five companies will be able to selectively choose which homeowner policies they want to take over, taking into account the age of the roof on the house, the proximity to the coastline, and other assumed risks. Industry experts say one devastating hurricane could derail the progress Florida appears to be making. Certainly the wild card in any type of program that is helping to stabilize the Florida property insurance market is hurricane activity and the not only the volume, but the impacts in terms of property damage. And a devastating hurricane would certainly be a setback for the entire for the property insurance market, as well as any depopulation plans of citizens, no doubt. So if you're a citizen's customer and the company's takeover offer is more than 20% of your current premium, homeowners can decline the coverage and they can stick with citizens. Friedlander points out all of the companies that could be taking over citizens' policies are in good financial standing and not on the state's financial watch list.